honestly having trouble with the, the oxi- <coughs> oxidation. Um, I don't, I've taken Ken before and I do a draw from that class, mm-hmm. but I don't think she, she didn't make us do oxidation she numbers. Made, yeah, she made us do like the chemical balancing, of course, but she, yeah. she didn't teach us oxidizing agent and reduction agent. Yeah, so, so let's, before we get into those, because those are a little more complicated, let's just talk about the basics of chemical reactions. Right. So, and then again, this is chapter five, right? Uh, so, chemical reactions, which I write as RxN. Never again will I write the whole word reaction out. Chemical reactions involve making and breaking. of chemical bonds, right? So in order for there to be a chemical reaction, there has to be bonds broken and bonds made, right? So the aspects of a chemical reaction are, we'll have the reactants On the left side, the reaction arrow, which indicates the direction of the reaction, and the products. All right? So the reactants are the things that we're combining, the products are the things that we're making. All right? Products are by convention always written on the right. Reactants are always on the left. So, a um, couple of things need to be true for a chemical reaction to be um, balanced. Oh man, is it going to come back? Let's wait and see. Uh, hey, there we go. Cool. <laughs> um, so, balancing a chemical reaction is very similar to to making sure that a, an equation in mathematics. is true, right? So, uh, cool, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> um, so what do I mean by that? So when we have an equal sign, right? If we do something to one side of the equation, we have to do the same thing to the other side of the equation to make sure that we haven't made the equal sign untrue. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah? Cool. Please work phone. <laughs> okay, cool. 